Diego is so famous that obviously he can't live a normal life. And that is why sometimes he reacts the way he does. The only way of understanding the pressure he is under is to be in his shoes. After each World Cup, I felt some of that pressure. The love of the people can be so overpowering. Sometimes you could scream for a peaceful moment. Maradona was one of four children born to Toto. And Chitori Maradona, his family resided in Villa Fiorito in deplorable conditions. He began playing for Argentinos Juniors at the age of eight. His style of play turned heads and drew the attention of many individuals in Argentina. His main priority after his outstanding play and totals 116 goals in 166 games was a move to Europe. You didn't need to be an expert on football to realize that you were looking at something special. He was a natural. There was nothing that I could teach him. He had it all. When he played with his friend Gojo from Fiorito, they were magic. They were spectacular. I never saw anyone play that way with Diego. During his time at Napoli, he rose to become the best player in club history and an idol to many young Neapolitans. He was the all-time best goal scorer until Dries Merton surpassed him a few years ago in 2019. Because of his outstanding performance, he was named captain of the team. He guided Napoli to their only two Serie titles in the club's 94-year history, as well as three more trophies during his time there. In the eyes of every Napoli supporter, he is adored and praised. We always stayed together to talk about the game, where he went, I went. We were inseparable. They are great memories that I will never forget. Throughout his career, no matter who he faced, every year for the national team was a unique occasion. Argentina's first World Cup victory came in 1986 against Germany, a powerhouse. Maradona scored a disputed goal with his hand in the semi-finals, propelling his team to the finals. Described his goal as the hand of God, I, I thought it was what, what cheek. <laughs> that was my first reaction. How can he say such a thing? But the goal stands. Clearly put in with a hand. He called the drama the hand of God. He is considered to be one of the best Argentinians to ever play the sport. <laughs> Yo me en el en el en el en la dentro mío me seguí divirtiendo con, con como cuando era chiquito y tuve la suerte de que Dios eh, me me hiciera valer este gol. Despite his legendary performances on the field, Tio Maradona struggled with drugs and substances as a player and manager. Maradona began using cocaine in the mid 1980s, developing a cocaine and alcohol addiction that lasted until 2004. Lo que no sabía era que iba a tomar cocaína. 
Yo sabía que iba, iba... It was a problem for the Argentine during his peak career, which spanned from 1976 to 1997, when he led his country to World Cup victory in 1986 and won Serie with Napoli in 1987 and 1990. The drug use started while he was playing for Barcelona in 1982, and worsened due to his mafia links in Napoli, where he went in 1984. Maradona's first significant drug-related sentence came in 1991, when he was banned for 15 months by Napoli for testing positive for cocaine. Me podrán decir que estoy bien, o que estoy mejor, o que estoy mejor que antes, pero nadie está dentro mío. Yo sé las culpas que tengo. Y no las puedo remediar. Si yo fuera Maradona, viviría como es. Si yo fuera Maradona. Later that year, he was caught in Buenos Aires for possessing a half kilo of cocaine and sentenced to 14 months in prison with a 14-month suspended sentence. He departed Italy after his suspension from football and did not return for several years in 2005. Italian authorities ordered him to pay 32 million pounds in unpaid taxes, which he didn't pay. Maradona returned to the Argentina team for the 1994 World Cup in America, scoring a spectacular goal against Greece in the group stage, sparking a wild celebration into the camera lens. His campaign was cut short before the end of the group stage, after he tested positive for five different types of ephedrine, a banned substance. Even before the final prohibition, Maradona told a drug addiction charity in 1996, drugs are everywhere, and I don't want kids to take them, I have two daughters. And I believed it was best to state this as a father's obligation, I was, am, and will always be a drug addict. And until the case is finally settled, Diego Maradona remains suspended from all footballing activity. In retirement, Maradona was sentenced to two years and ten months in prison on a suspended sentence for shooting journalists with an air firearm in 1994. Unsurprisingly, Maradona's health has suffered greatly as a result of his long-term drug use. Diego Maradona, an Argentine soccer legend, died at the age of 60 after suffering from liver, renal, and cardiovascular diseases. It's impossible. Porque eso no se domina. Porque si no seríamos todos robots. ¿Entendés? Yo, yo soy de carne y hueso. Yo soy de carne y hueso. Me equivoco como todo el mundo. Pero que tengo aciertos, también tengo aciertos. Y por sobre todas las cosas, hay una cosa que tengo muy clara y se la, y se la enseño siempre a mis hijos. La libertad y el sentimiento no se compran. No se compran.